Hello my lovelies, it's Helen here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to NTNA Season 7 Challenge 3. This week's sponsor is La Chat and we had to use their 3-in-1 coloured powders to create a set on 5 tips depicting one of our superpowers. I have two superpowers in mind. I'm going to share both, but I'm only going to use one for the challenge and the other just for a bit of a giggle. So my first superpower is I can make people disappear with just three words. You want to see? Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm vegan. Well, where did everyone go? Hello? My second superpower is my psychic ability. Now, don't think I'm the next John Edwards. I'm only a newbie to this and I try and develop my gift with each day. But I do love tarot cards, sage, incense, crystals, pendulums, all of which help develop your psychic gift. And that's exactly what I'm going to be creating for this week's challenge. So my five tips will be different crystals. And the first one I'll be making is citrine. Here I'm just gluing together faceted pieces of plastic to make the mold for my nail. Then I'm mixing Le Chat's Sunny Days with a pinch of Bonfire Night to make a slightly orange coloured acrylic that I can use to marble with. You can marble acrylic colours by dipping your brush into multiple colours before placing the bead on the nail. And once on the nail, I highly recommend you don't pat at the bead too much, for doing so will only mix all the colours together and you will lose the effect of the depth of colours you've just created. Working in small sections at a time like I am here only adds to the realistic crystal appearance. It also benefits the result to mix up the order in which you dip your brush in. And once I'm done marbling, I want to add a faceted front to the citrine nail. So I add clear Lichat acrylic powder to my mold and then press the tip into it and wait for the acrylic to harden. Once dried, I can peel off each facet and polish the nail to a high shine with my chamois attachment on my e-file. Now I want to work on my turquoise nail and I need to mix the correct colour. I add Le Chat's Blue Crush into Sleek White and give it a mix. It's not quite the colour I was after so I then add Laser Beam and Sunny Days to get the perfect turquoise colour. Again for my turquoise nail I am going to marble my mix colour along with Blue Crush. This time when I place it on the nail I manipulate the acrylic so the strong blue colour isn't exposed too much and you can see more of the turquoise colour. This will help me create the veins that you see in the crystal pictured here. I continue adding marbled sections to the nail but on this nail I want to show you an ombre technique. Ombre is when one colour fades into another and the transition is seamless. So for the perfect acrylic ombre, you need to feather your first colour up the nail so it fades nicely. Then with your second colour, you place a bead where the first colour ends, pat it into place and then feather it down over your first colour. As you brush the acrylic down the nail, it fades the colour seamlessly into the first, which in this case happens to be my turquoise tip. You now need to encapsulate the ombre with clear acrylic in order to protect it from filing when the time comes for you to finish file the nail. I use the same marbling technique to create my rose quartz and my orange calcite nails. The third nail art technique I want to show you though is called colour blocking or it's also known as hashtag not polish. With colour blocking, you place your acrylic colour of choice on the nail and get it into position. You allow it to dry completely, so then you can use a nail file to shape and crisp up the side of the acrylic where you intend to add your second colour. Because I'm creating a green calcite on this nail, the difference between the two colours isn't too obvious. But if I was to use red for example, then you would see how crisp the line is between the two colours. I continue to move down the nail using the colour blocking technique and once dried I finish file all my crystal nails and then add no wipe top coat to finish them off. With a turquoise nail I need to add even more vein detail to it so I use a black gel polish and my fine tip nail art brush to create fine veiny lines. To set this design I cure it for one minute in my LED light and then finish it off with a no wipe top coat, again curing it for one minute in my LED light. Now I want to create the stage for which all my crystal nails will be displayed on. So I'm just using the clear plastic packaging that these Le Chat 3-in-1 acrylic powders came in and I'm just cutting the corners off. Then I'm using the same marbling technique to encase the inside of each corner. 
Once the acrylic dries, I pry off the clear plastic to reveal a shiny faux crystal for my display. I then arrange all my faux crystals and attach my crystal tips to them so I can move on to making my 3D elements. Here I'm making a sage stick by first dipping my brush into the turquoise colour I created earlier and then into palm leaf and then I place the bead on the form. I allow the bead to dry up a little before manipulating it into a leaf. Just before it dries completely, I use my brush and slide it under the leaf to pick it up and transfer it onto my 3D design. Once all the leaves are placed on the sage stick, I then use some red twine to wrap it around to make it look like the real thing. Now I want to create some tarot cards, so I sandwich some of Lachette's sleek white in between two nail forms to flatten and smooth the acrylic. Once it dries, I cut the edges even and I paint the tarot cards. Now I need to add my psychic gypsy and her crystal ball and I'm going to use my fellow NTNA sister Alison's technique of mixing monomer and powder in a bowl and then pouring it onto my template. Sandwiching this in between a book will help keep it flat as it hardens and then to make it mystical I add a mix of laser beam, purple rain, sunny days, sleek white along with some chrome flakes. Applying no wipe top coat will seal in all this mystical magic and then I need to start on my gypsy. I sculpt my gypsy using Le Chat's 3-in-1 acrylic powders as a base and then to add detail you need to paint with acrylic colours. To help you shade with acrylic colours it's best to work with wetter consistency and if you want vibrancy in your colour then use the paint on the thicker side. And here is the completed and assembled challenge for Le Chat. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of my interpretation of this week's challenge. I'm going to leave voting links both in the description box and in the pinned comments so you can vote for me if you'd like to see me stay in the competition. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that way you won't miss any NTNA challenges I post in future. So that's it for today's video my lovelies, but in the meantime if you'd like to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one for you. Well I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye!